Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel with this new video that might be the start of a complete new series where I talk about famous drummers and what makes them so great in my opinion. And what better example could I have chosen for this first episode than the great Vinnie Colajuda. Let me make it clear that this is just me picking out a couple of things that I personally find so great about Vinnie Colajuda in this video on this day. This is of course not a holistic talk about the greatness of Vinny because I could talk about Vinny for like 10 hours. And please feel free to go absolutely bananas in the comment section with your favorite things about Vinny. That having said, let's jump right into it. Number one, groove or feel. This belongs in any list about any great drama, but we can't talk about Vinny without talking about his tremendous ability to groove and to make the music feel that certain way that you just want to, you know, jump up and, and go crazy. So groove is a very, very broad thing. I mean, you, we can talk about this for hours. In simple words, it's just, you know, if you take the simplest drum beat there is in pop rock, just like a simple boom, chuck, boom, chuck, and then you let 10 drummers play that, uh, you will get 10 different results. I'm not talking about tempo or, or dynamics. If every everybody would play it, you know, with the same general loudness and this, in the same tempo, you would still get 10 different results. The main thing is feel. Can you make the groove feel a certain way? You know, give it that certain emotion, that certain, you know, um, heartbeat. And Vinny has one of the greatest grooves in general. It will be filled with emotion. It will be filled with meaning and intention. There's no art without intention. And that quote is by Duke Ellington. But let's move on. Number two, time. Again, you know, good time is something that every drummer should have. It's one aspect of grooving is, you know, playing in time. But it also goes a long way, especially with Vinny. His, you know, timekeeping ability and his ability to play any time signature, any subdivision, just anything is, is legendary and is something that has highly contributed to his career, his perception of time. He can also, you know, stretch the time, play way back or, or play, you know, in front of the beat and still be right in the pocket. He can play any time signature. Of course, you know, uh, the Zappa tune on, on Joe's Garage, Make It Greasy in 1916th uh, time is um, a milestone, but it's not only about odd meters. He has just an incredible sense of time and an incredible sense of peace in his time. It's just, you know, it's right there, whether it may be 4-4 or 1916 or anything in between, basically. Of course, he is also a master in subdivisions. Also his ability to, you know, just play completely freely and loosely over a steady pulse, you know, something that you, you can't really transcribe with, with, with subdivisions anymore, or at least you would go absolutely crazy doing that. But you know, he does that and he still knows what's going on, you know, all the time. Number three, sound. Again, very huge topic. Every great drummer has his own particular great sound. And that's actually one of the most important things, especially for non-drummers or non-musicians, you know. They can't really understand the crazy subdivisions that he does or whether it's complex or not. But they know and they hear if something sounds good or not. And Vinny has an incredibly well-balanced and, and, you know, powerful drum set sound. And not only that he sounds great on any striking surface he plays on, but he also, you know, kind of developed the modern or co-developed the modern, you know, jazz rock fusion to pop sound, you know, compared to the, the, the fusion, you know, the jazz rock fusion drum sound of Tony Williams to Vinny's sound. And uh, Vinny came out of Tony Williams, but you know, he, he took it, he made it rockier, he made it punchier, he made it more aggressive in a way. Think about his open toms, his, you know, cracking snare, that bite, you know, that rim shot, that cut his hi-hat play, his, his bass drum. I mean, again, we can talk about this for hours. Number four, reading. Now we get more specific. There are a lot of great drummers who, who don't read. Vinny's reading ability is, again, 
legendary. I mean, back in the studio scene, mostly in the 1980s, he used to be known for that. He was, he was known to be this, you know, world-class reader who can perform everything, you know, prima vista from a chart. He was working fast. I mean, he was, he was delivering first takes, you know, all day long, basically, and then maybe some overdubs or maybe a second or third take. And that used to be it because, you know, he was just reading the stuff from the page. And, you know, it's, uh, being a good reader is not only about, you know, just reading what's there, but, you know, the ability to instantly make those notes come alive, you know, especially on the drum set where most of the times there's not a completely written out part. In lots of cases, you just get a lead sheet with some basic information and then maybe some kicks happening or whatnot. And then you have to come up with a good drum part, a musical drum part, right on the spot while you're reading it for the first time. On other instruments, that's often not the case. So being a good reader on drums is really not only about, you know, being able to read what's written, but also about being a very good instant composer, you know. It's about, you know, coming up with the right thing to do in this very moment. And that's again a thing that Vinny is famous for. Number five, versatility. Vinny has often been described as a chameleon and that, that's really what he is. I mean, he's the guy who can play any style of music authentically and well. I mean, that's what he does. He's been playing everything from traditional jazz, modern jazz, jazz rock fusion, funk, soul, pop, rock, hard rock, metal, reggae, and, and everything in between. I think it's safe to say that he's the only musician to probably ever exist who has worked with Chick Corea and Megadeth. I mean, everybody who knows Vinny knows that he's done a lot of stuff. There are a lot of drummers who are great drummers, in one specific genre, who are known for doing one specific thing, playing with one specific band. I mean, this guy is a great rock drummer, he's in this band, this guy is a great jazz drummer, and so on. Vinnie Colaiuta is just a great drummer overall for any style of music. I think that's pretty outstanding. Next up, and I'm trying to wrap this up because I've been talking a lot already, um, his technique or his general capability of playing the instrument. Vinny is the one guy that you would expect to be able to play anything on the drums. Again, it doesn't matter if it's like up-tempo, right, jazz technique or metal double bass technique, his, you know, incredible rudimental style of, of hand technique, uh, his coordination and so on and so on. His technical abilities just seem to be without boundaries, you know, limitless limitless, endless technical possibilities. Next thing I like to cover is his creativity that again seems to be without boundaries. You know, Vinny can just, you know, play in the pocket, you know, deliver the job with great feel, great sound, great time, and then just all of a sudden pull out a complete element of surprise that just catches you immediately and make you go like, what? What was that? He constantly keeps you, you know, on the edge of your stool, you know, if you watch him play on videos or if you listen to recordings. You never get bored of listening to Vinnie Colaiuta. He's known for so many things and he always delivers those things and he always plays stuff that you would expect him do. But then he, again, he also plays stuff that you would never expect anyone to do. His, his creative mind is, is just genius. Two more things I like to cover, one being his overall musicianship. Everything that he does, including all the craziness, you know, everything is always serving the music and doing what's best for the music and feeling the music, making the music come alive. He never overplays while still playing a lot, but still he never overplays. He never underplays, he always delivers. And that's again something that most great drummers have because, you know, you have to be a great musician to make music. Okay, last thing I like to cover for today is his historic role. Vinny is just a legend. And yeah, maybe he was at the right place at the right time because back in the 70s and 80s, music was still evolving differently than it does today. Not that it's not evolving anymore, but you know, back then a lot of stuff was going on and, and Vinny was really at the frontier of, you know, um, 
fusion of, of jazz rock and contributed a lot to, you know, pop rock playing, you know, closing that gap between jazz and, and, and pop rock and, you know, coming up with, with a whole new sound concept and with so many new ideas that haven't been played before, you know, merging Steve Gadd and Tony Williams together, giving it something that only he could give to it. He inspired basically every drummer that came after him. He has moved the art form of drumming and the art form of making music in general forward. And that's amazing. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Again, this is not a holistic Vinnie Colaiuta discussion video. It, it can never be. This has just been a quick brainstorm now. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree with my picks of today. You know, let me know in the comment section and please also let me know which famous drummer you would like me to discuss next. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post just a couple of few links in the description box to some of my favorite Vinny YouTube videos and also I'm gonna list some of my favorite recordings that he's on. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel right here as well as checking out my latest 10 types of drummers video right here. And don't forget my completely free 17 episode course on hand technique right there. Thanks again, let me know in the comment section and I hit you up with a new video next Monday.